Hello, Gemini. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Paulina Tarot by Paulina Cassidy. Up here at the top, if you can see it. Supportive Oracle Cards, Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. Alright, there's a double card there. What is it? Hmm. It's, I, I don't know why I'm, it's popping into my head. You're, you're, it's like you're turning water into wine. So we'll see what that's about. That's, we'll see where that's going. Um, structure. All right, you have, there's something with structure here. When I'm feeling this, I, I was looking at this and structure pops right in. You have a structure. There's like structure. What do we like? There's something where you've learned something the hard way. Like, it's almost like somebody forced you into some type of structure, some type of way of doing things where it was very static and boring and repetitious. And you had to keep doing it. And you had to keep doing it. And you had to keep doing it. And when you were doing it, you hated it. <laughs> But you, you, whatever it is, you know it. Like you know this situation in and out. There's something that you had. There's so much structure that was behind you. Like you had to do something, and there's so much structure that you didn't like doing it at the time. Yet you've taken that energy, you've taken that information, and it's really like created something inside you where you have this base plan. And you can build a lot of things from this base plan. It's very strong. Like you have this base structure. It's very solid and you can do a lot with it and actually make it come to fruition in a very positive way. Um, so we're, you're, we're pulling on something that really, it gave you a lot of, a lot of benefits. Like you, you got, what is this, abundance? Yes. I keep wanting to call it bounty. Like you got a lot of, a, you got a big bounty from this. But like, I feel like the bounty is still yet to come. It's like something you didn't like. It may be something you learned as a kid that somebody just forced you to keep doing something and you're just like, I can't stand it. Um, <laughs> but you have such a solid foundation from it, you're going to actually pull that back in soon. Um, there's abundance waiting. The thing is, this is also a situation where other people gave you a hard time. And I feel like this is a situation where other people would say, you didn't do that well. Now that's it. Okay, let me put this down. Let me just do this. I feel like other people, when you were learning this and trying to do the structure and learning the repetition and doing it over and doing it over and doing it over, other people would, I feel like other people would say you didn't, you didn't succeed. Um, the thing is, you actually did because you got the pattern that you needed. You did get information from that that you're going to use going forward. You did succeed, but I feel like other people would say you didn't. Like, uh, that's weird, because especially I'm seeing the, the abundance, and I'm, I'm, I'm like, I want to fight that, but they're saying, no, other people will judge you, or did judge you and say, no, you failed. You did not do that as well as you should have, or that was not up to par. It wasn't up to their standards, maybe. Um, I apologize for the coffee. I need coffee this morning. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it's loud coffee, though, for the love of Pete. Um, See, so you just complain about it. It shuts up. That's great. Um, I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> okay. You're filling the void. See, this is like, this is your moment. The, the trick is to not, how do you, how do I say this? In the past, you really did succeed, but other people would say, no, you didn't. And I'm getting, you're filling the void and you're going to create something beautiful. The pleasure and the void is like, you're going to take this moment where there's nothing. You're going to build something here because you have the structure from the past to do this with. The thing is, you can't hold yourself down or let other people's opinions. Like, I don't know. I don't feel like somebody physically there holding you down, like holding you down. But I feel like this information from the past makes you feel maybe a little inadequate. Makes you feel like maybe I didn't do that right, so I can't do that now because they said I didn't do it right before. You, It's there. You have what you need. 
because I'm getting this um, five of cups kind of like oh I would uh, I want to do this but I I've been told that I don't do that right so there's like this negative energy around you from the past like some type of imprint some type of like repeating song almost it's repeating energy kind of like oh I'm wrong I'm wrong I'm wrong it just keeps coming through even though you're not but there's it's like energy from somebody else in the past I'm gonna interject this one way to you might be able to quiet that energy down I like Paul McKenna British author I just I love him it's great uh, I can mend your broken heart it's not just for relationships you can calm other things down with it it may be a way for you to like shut down that energy to where it doesn't keep repeating on you and holding you down and knocking you down. Because I do feel like there's an energy from the past where somebody was very critical of what you were doing. Even though you did, I feel like you actually did do well. You learned the structure, but it wasn't up to somebody else's standards. That book could help you take that energy, like take that memory and shut that energy down to where... I'm not going to let somebody else's opinion of me hold me down. I'm going to use my strength and take what I got from this and use it for what I need to. Because there's a lot of pleasure you could have here. And removing those voices and shutting those that energy down would just make things so much better for you. So that's what I use for things like that. So I'm just throwing that out there for that reason. Um, five of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Something very solid, something with a structure. Structure. You learned it. You know it. Thing is, you learn the structure. You can do what you want with it. You know what you can and can't like do with it. You can take a structure, like whatever the structure was, and I think this is what kind of why this other energy didn't like it. I think this is what they really didn't like about it, quite frankly. You can take this stru structure. You know where the beams are. You know where this is. You know what this has to be here to hold that up. That has to be there to hold that up. But you can move things around inside it. Like once I have the base structure down and you know that, I have a lot of things I can change. Like if I don't like where these walls are, I can move these walls around. I just got to make sure I don't mess with the base structure. As long as this beam and that stays in contact and that doesn't get blocked or that doesn't get cut or that doesn't get removed, I can do a lot with this. And you know that. You know what you need to do and you know what you can and can't move. And that seems to be where the point of contention was in the past. Like Whoever it was was like, this wall goes here, and that wall goes there, and this goes like this, and you don't move it. And you're like, well, actually you can, just as long as you don't mess with these key points. You can do what you want. And you know that, but this is where that last, that past energy is like, no, you can't. That is not how you do it. No, 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 no. Um, you have the structure. You have the structure. You do know what you're doing. Somebody else just, just seems to have not liked how you did things. Because you can see, like, this it's the thing with Gemini. You th see things other ways. You say things ways people don't. Sometimes people don't trust you because they think you don't know what you're talking about. In reality, you do. You just have a hard time. Sometimes Gemini has a hard time relaying the information to people who just don't. They can't get a cerebral. Like, Gemini usually deals with it better with more other air signs. But if, they're, if you're not dealing with another air sign or somebody who connects with air in that way... It's hard sometimes for you to relay that information to other people at the level you need them to understand it. Um, <laughs> sometimes that can be a hang-up for Gemini. Sometimes. I know some of you have worked past it and through it and like you've realized like I have to figure out their communication style. I have to figure out what works for them and it just takes 10 days to get there. <laughs> Instead of a five-minute conversation, it takes me 10 days. <laughs> and some of you have figured that out, but... I think that's kind of like a, a challenge for Gemini to not only have the information but be able to convey it in a way that whoever needs to hear it can understand it, absorb it, and apply it. You'll let me know in the comments, I know. Um, the Six of Swords with the realization is like another thing that's going on with this situation. You know the structure. You know how things can go. Whatever you're doing in this next situation that you're trying to bring into life I, I know I just went through that whole it's hard to get people to understand sometimes. I feel like you're having this challenge. That's why we went into that, quite frankly. Because I'm getting the Six of Swords with the realization. You have to really talk on somebody else's level. You have to figure out what words, what ways of saying things help them understand. Like, if you want somebody on your side and you want them to understand where you're standing, a lot of times you have to, like, find out, like, what words make sense to them. What 
what way do I have to relay this to them to where it, like it makes that impact to where they can relate to this to where like this is what I'm saying and this is where I want to go and you relate it to the a way that they understand like I'm an animal lover a lot of times if you want to win me over if you can equate animals to it you'll probably win me over unfortunately I probably shouldn't tell people that depending on what it is unless I think you're full of crap and you're just using me then that's a whole other thing but if it's authentic like you know what I mean you use somebody's language you find out what works for them and you're like okay I'm going to equate it this way um that way they can realize they need to realize see that you got the choice here they're either going to walk away because they don't get it with the six of swords like i don't know i don't know what you're talking about gemini i gotta go i don't know gemini i don't understand and they're just going to go or you kind of get into it and find a way to relate it to them and then they realize that this is really good that you really do have the structure you really do know what you're talking about um you might have to like really compress it and just segregate what you explain and be very careful not to tell too much and just kind of keep it to a very limited amount of information and always keep it like keep bringing it around and keep repeating that same type of information in different ways just to where they realize it's the same information you can say it different ways but you have to like, keep you have to keep it confined to this same bit of information and once that has been applied and it's solid then you can start adding a little bit more <coughs> And just keep it segregated or very limited to that new information, just what you feel like they can handle. Say it in different ways, because that's your energy. Explain it to them in different ways, but always keep it in the same confinement. I do feel confined with it. I do see this kind of like... you don't. I don't feel like you really want to confine it, but I feel like you need to. So that, I feel like that's the advice for that. Because when you get excited about something and you see where it's going, you just kind of want to follow the thought. You know what I mean? But like with this person, because I'm getting hiccups, so they're like, you can't. Don't follow the thought. Like when you're talking to them, you keep it confined. If you want to follow that thought when you're away from them and doing something else or talking to somebody else who can roll with you on that level, okay, that's cool. But when you're talking to them, you got to keep it confined or you're going to have issues. You got nourishment coming in here and you got the fool. I feel like this is an either or like if you have this energy out here where they don't really get it but you do convince them to help you I just you know when the fool kind of wanders the fool literally like you like you don't want to like depend on the fool to show up when you need a ride home because they kind of wander and they get kind of like oh what's this and what, oh, yeah, okay you know, you know, they might, but you have to keep on them. To keep them on, to keep the fool on plan, you have to keep directing the fool. You have to keep, you have to keep roping them in, reeling them in. Come on, over here, fool. <laughs> over here, fool. Uh, <laughs> get over here. Keep doing that. Um, the other one is the, the nourishment. If you keep it confined and you keep telling them, like, what's going on and different ways of telling them the same information, different ways of bringing it around... I feel like they'll get more invested in it because like, there is the fool energy is going to be there a little bit. I give you that. But like if you keep telling them the same thing in different ways and you keep it confined, the nourishment is kind of like what I'm feeling nourishment, like you're feeding something and it's over time you create that nourishment. Like you keep nourishing with like you know, when you feed a kid, you give them vegetables and certain proteins and certain fats and certain this and certain that. And you, you keep them moving and you keep them you know, learning this and learning that. You have to keep nourishing them so that over time, their bodies grow stronger, their mind grows stronger, they can apply these things and they can have the energy to do what they need to do. Over time, you have to keep nourishing it. Like, nourishment to me is like you keep having to feed it over and over in different ways to keep it lively. So, like, if you can keep it confined and just keep nourishing it in different ways, I feel like you get more loyalty from this person. If they just don't seem to understand it and you somehow get them to follow you here and there, it's just very rickety. It's just not very dependable. And you need, for this structure, you need somebody more loyal, more dependable. you got to kind of create that here. You're the one in total control here. you got to accept this right off the bat. Um, like, this is something, you're the leader. You, you're the leader. This will not have sex. Sex. Really? Success. I don't know where we're going with that, but whatever. Um, 
seriously. Uh, <laughs> this will not have success unless you're the leader and you've accepted you're the leader. I'm not, I'm not naming. We're just, you know what? The King of Wands. There, there can be a very sexual energy with that card anyway. But I don't know why that popped out of my face. So, go where you want with that. Um, <laughs> really. Eight of Cups. See, there's like this either or energy here. If you can build the loyalty with this person, you get the Eight of Cups. I'm getting like. That's somebody who's just, they seem to stay around. It seems like there's energy here. Like the Eight of Cups, it's a travel card. It's a moving on card and you got release. But I feel like if you keep them involved, like you see it coming when the transition happens, you're more on point with them and you can like, I feel like this reminds me of Taurus for some reason. I think because Taurus was a similar energy. I don't know why, because you're very different from Taurus. But anyway, when this person transitions out, you'll know it's happening and easily transition something else in. Um, see, the Eight of Cups is a move on card. It is like, you know, there's good stuff here, but there, this is somebody moving on to something else. It does feel like that Fool energy again. But they got the release here too, and they're... Also, like, they're they're backing it up like, oh, this person will be not, they won't stick around. So you don't want to build this structure as, you don't want to build this structure as them being one of the main beams. That's like, this person can't be one of your main beams, whoever this is. Um, if it's really a struggle for you to convince this person and keep them in line and keep reminding them, realize that they're a temporary support. Um, they can't be a main beam because they're gonna they're gonna ditch they are gonna ditch. I don't think this this should not bring down the house. This should not stop your plan. I feel like they're also like this might be one of the biggest parts of this reading. Like you can definitely work around this. I have no doubt in that. You can work around this. But they're saying it doesn't have to impede your situation. It doesn't have to cause you any issue. If you keep in contact with them, I'm also feeling if you're constantly talking to them and you're keeping it very limited in what you're telling them, I feel like you easily see where their brain is going and you're like, oh yeah, they're going to ditch me at some point. And you get to swap out things the way you need to. Um, this is not a total walk away. What do we mean by that? Like this person isn't going to totally walk away. See, I th okay, okay. When this starts happening, I feel like there's like a, a, a warble or a waver or kind of like, you know, they're here, then they're not, and then they're here, and then they're not, and then they're here, and then they're not. I feel like what they're saying is like, you're, you're going to kind of want to like send them off and send them on their way. Don't, don't, don't let them bounce back and forth. I think that when I'm getting the Eight of Cups especially, it's kind of like, it's not a total walk away. It's like they're in between. <laughs> But they're saying sooner or later they should be walking away completely. You probably want to cut this loose sooner rather than later. Because the back and forth, I don't feel like that's good for this situation. That's gonna, that's not going to get you where you really want to go. It just seems to be causing more confusion and more issues. When they start going, go. You Again, you are the one, you are the leader. You Again, you are the leader. So you have to decide when that's going to happen. But... It's kind of like when they seem to like start wavering half in and half out, you want to kind of send them on their way and put somebody else in that spot. Again, they're a temporary support. Um, the next person you add in, I'm getting a good energy for you. Okay. But I'm getting like, there's going to be a period where it seems like you're holding the whole situation up on yourself, on your own. It's like you are the main beam of the situation, like you're the main support. Because I'm getting the self-love with the Ten of Wands. There's going to be a moment here where you feel like you're holding up the whole thing by yourself. You are the leader. You have to be the leader. This will not have success if you don't. Have, if you're not the leader, if you don't have that that attitude about it. Self-love. I almost. I want to say self-reliance for whatever reason. I don't know if there's a card in this deck that that that's here, but like I feel like self-reliance. Like you're relying on yourself to make this happen. The Ten of Wands is like, it's a lot of stress. This is also telling me with the Ten of Wands, like the success is good at this point, but it won't it won't have a longevity unless you find someone else to add into the situation to share the burden with. 
and I'm getting when you get somebody coming forward, you got the path coming in, I feel like a much better energy is connecting in with you. I feel like you want to find, like it's either one of two things, and I know this is a general read, so I'm just trying to be fair about it. Either somebody who just is like all about the plan and they just trust where you're going with it, and they seem to be very loyal to you off the get-go, or somebody who can keep up with you mentally, you can say what you need to say, and they're like, yes, I think that's a great idea, but how about this? And you're like, yes, I thought about this, and that's what I'm doing with that. And they're like, okay, cool. Like somebody who can either keep up with you mentally or somebody who just seems to be like, yes, I believe in you, I believe in where you're going, let's do it. Um, because somebody else is coming in with the Knight of Cups, but I feel like this is a very strong support. Um, look out for either one of those two energies. Either they're the, just like, yeah, I believe in you, I believe where you're going, I believe you can do it, I'm here for you, loyalty, it just feels like the loyalty is there, you feel very confident with them. Or, you know, again, the way you're going to know if they're on the same mental level as you is like you're going to tell them what's going on and they're going to question something and you're going to be like, yeah, and I have an answer for that, this. And they're like, okay, cool, that's great. Like they'll question you, but when you have the answer, they're like, oh, that makes sense. They're like, when they're, they will question you, yes, but you'll have answers and they'll be like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you're on. You're exactly, yes. That's the energy that's taking over after. The energy is kind of like, phew, I think we hit the point. Whatever I needed to say, it must be there. So I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.